14 pounds of beef, 10 pounds of dough, six pounds of cheese. This burger is gonna be 56 times the size of a regular burger. Hey guys, my name is Alvin. I'm a tasty producer and I love making crazy food. And my friend Victor actually hit me up yesterday and he is a guy that just loves burgers to the end of the world. And he goes, I got a favor to ask. You know, I like burgers, right? Well, you see my birthday's coming up real soon and I don't really like cake. And I was wondering, could you make me a giant cheeseburger for my birthday? And I was like, dang, okay, I see you. All right, hit me up tomorrow and let's see what I can do. Thanks man, you're the goat. What's up, dude? How's, How's it going, Alvin? you good? What you got for me? Grabbed a couple of my favorite burgers. I oh. wanted you to come check it out. What do you love so much about this burger? It yeah. starts off with this amazing toasted brioche bun. Yeah. Toasting it on both sides to make sure it's crispy. And the beef, the way that they sear it, the juiciness. Mmm, man. And that cheese, woo! That cheese though, it melts into all the little crevices of the beef. That's what I'm talking about. And the toppings are super simple. Lettuce, tomato, Oh man, once you put all those wonderful things together, you take that bite. Mmm, amazing. So I'm gonna try to make you a really big version of this. It might not be easy, but I'm gonna see what I can do. If anybody can do it, it's you, man. All right, thanks dude, appreciate it. <laughs> I'll see you in a bit. Time to make this crazy thing. We're gonna start with this giant custom brioche bun. Pretty classic brioche recipe. Some flour, some salt, sugar, a couple of eggs. Gonna get this started. I forgot the dough hook. While this is going, I'm gonna make the yeast starter mixture. A cup of water, yeast, some milk for the yeast to drink. Kinda get hydrated, start drinking, start growing, cause you know this yeast ain't hit puberty yet. Woo Five to eight minutes low speed until the dough comes together and then we're gonna add a lot of butter. The dough's coming together, it's in a ball shape. For brioche, one of the most signature things is a lot of butter, so add it slowly, incorporate it into the dough and kinda make it super velvety. Yo, that's looking hot. Hot as in good. There we go. A lot of dough, y'all. That's nice. Cool. So, you gotta shape it to a ball. Get this guy into this buttered dish bed. Get some plastic wrap. Cover this guy up. Let him take a nap for two hours and I'll see you in a bit, dude. So while the dough rests, I wanna use some foil to kind of make the bun stay in this shape. Where's the halfway point for this? Hold in half again. Gotta make a circle. Clasp it together. This sort of thing. This is a big ass circle. Hope it's sturdy enough to hold the bread, but we'll see. Oh man, this is a big boy right here. Ooh. Here we go. So satisfying. Oh sh Woo. Maybe I should have oiled my surface. Get the air bubbles out, reshape it into the form of a circle for the hamburger bun. So the recipe for this dough actually makes 10 individual buns and I doubled the recipe. So this bun is actually gonna be the size of 20 buns, I think. I'm gonna put some egg wash on this. Get off to the oven, you go. I'll see you in a minute. <laughs> this is a big bun. Whoa, that is a burger bun. Then directly into the pan. Looking pretty good. Well, this one kind of toast in the pan. I'm just gonna brush some butter on this, gonna throw it in the broil over there to get toasted too. Woo, that's a nice toast. Now we're gonna make this beef patty. I got the biggest tray we could find in the kitchen. I got a lot of beef, now with a lot of people, and it is 14 pounds of beef. In an average burger, somewhere around a quarter pound, this burger is gonna be 56 times a regular burger. Oh wait, gloves. Let's get to work. I don't think I've ever seen this much meat in my life. You know, when I went to the grocery store to get this, the lady in line behind me was like, boy, are you hungry? <laughs> and I was like, you bet I am. <laughs> it's a visual representation between Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem. All right, that's all the beef. It's like working with dough, but not really, because the dough is meat. Time to season. Garlic powder, onion powder, smoked paprika, a lot of pepper. Make it rain, boy. Like almost like a quarter cup of salt. Don't be afraid to season your meat, y'all. Oh wait, I need to take my wash off before this get any crazier. And to make it all evenly combined, it's a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. I think I've seen Salt Bay do some of these videos. I'm getting tired. This thing is wild. Never was the trainer like, hey, here's a 14 pounds of ground meat. Do five reps. Woo! All right. It's been seven years. Let's say this meat is thoroughly mixed and figure out how to get it into a patty shape. Second pan, please. Thanks, Brenda. Appreciate it. You got it. This is one patty. This is the second one. 
I'm gonna make it into a perfect circle. Outside's thicker than inside because when a burger cooks, it actually shrinks. That's a meat pizza. Whew, that's one. All right, let's go for another one. I'm changing to a slapping technique. This is how you train as a masseuse. Whew. I don't have a pan that can sear. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put them in the oven, 300 degrees to kind of cook them all through. And then I'm gonna turn on the broiler, really nice caramelization on top to get all the flavor. The patties are done. I need to deal with the cheese though. So we're gonna make the big cheese slice now. A lot of people might be saying, hey, why don't you just put a bunch of cheese slices on top of the patty itself? I mean, you could, but we're at Tasty, we're making it big, so why not just make a giant cheese slice? Oh, a piece fell. Half American cheese, half cheddar cheese. Let it cook down, let it melt a little bit. If you are lactose intolerant, look away now. We're about to go in. That's some good cheese right there. Oh my. Oh my ma, look at this. All right, we gotta work fast before it starts to get cold. This also may or may not be too much cheese, but there's no such thing as too much cheese. Where's that spatula? One last smooth. These cheese slices are gonna go in the fridge. See you in a bit. Oh, that's hot. Oh my God, that's so hot. So these cheese slices have firmed up pretty nicely. Put these on here. Trim these up a bit. Uh, save these snacks for later. Looking good. You know, sometimes I dream of crazy things. And this is how cheese slices are made. Oh, this is pretty good. I made my own custom cheese slice. These are the biggest cutting boards I've ever seen. I didn't even know we had stuff this big. So we're gonna see if this actually works. Damn. Okay, I think that's pretty cool. I may have overestimated how much cheese I needed, but there's nothing wrong with more cheese. We're gonna put these back in the oven until they're nice and really delicious, and we're gonna build this burger. Oh, this just got so much heavier. I will see you when you are nice and melted. Bye-bye. Whew, let me catch my breath. That is what I like to see. I think it looks great. I just kinda wanna eat it right now, but I can't because Victor's gotta eat it. Buns are toasted, garnishes are ready, burger's ready, patty's ready. I think it's time to build this burger. I'm actually pretty nervous for it. There's like 14 pounds of beef, 10 pounds of dough, six pounds of cheese. Here we go. All right, big patty goes on. Yes! Patty number two is landed. I think the bun might be a little too small, but that's okay. Lettuce. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, this is looking cool. Nice floral arrangement. Seeing this come together, I think you could probably fit a piece of this in your mouth. Nice bed of lettuce, tomatoes. How's that song go? I got beans, greens, tomatoes, potatoes, yams, something. One, and a two, and a three. Time to do the top bun and the sauce. This is some secret burger sauce I made. Mayo, some mustard, some ketchup, some pickle juice. That's pretty much it. Take this toasted burger bun, then just kind of spread it nice and evenly over it. All right, here we go. Got to put the cat on the hat. This might not be a big enough hat. Come on. <laughs> okay, the top of the bun shrunk a little bit more than I thought it was going to, uh, but that's okay. This burger is pretty much done, and I'm going to go get Victor. It's his birthday today, and I really want to know if it actually tastes good, so I'm going to wash my hands, and we're going to go surprise him. This is like 25 pounds. What's up, Vic? What's up, Alvin, man? This is the size of a regular burger, correct? Yes, sir. Close your eyes. Awesome, I can't wait. Wow, why did that sound like that? You ready? I'm ready, man. Right, one, two, three. Open your eyes, Vic. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. What? It's amazing, bro. It's like the same thing, it's but just big, right? huge. <laughs> How many burgers do you think would fit in this? Probably fit like 20 of those burgers in here. Easy. The first thing I thought of was just how beautiful it looks. Oh, Unbelievable. Let's bite into this bad boy. I can't wait to try it, man. I really can't wait to try it. Oh, that's a thick burger. With two C's, maybe three. <laughs> oh my. That's a proper oh, serving man. size. That's what I'm talking about. How do you get it to be so juicy? He toasted the, you toasted the buns, bro? Oh, we're not wasting any of this. I think I'm gonna have to call down some friends, bro. All right, <laughs> let's bring in the backup. Feeding a lot of my friends with this giant burger and just watching them finish it all, it really made me happy. Granted, the bun might have been a little small, the cheese a little too thick this time. 
but seeing people smile and being able to make them happy with food, that is the best feeling in the world for me. So if you got a favorite food, comment below, hit me up, send me a DM, and I will do my very best to try and make it big for you. Until then, 